Hi, my name is Jason and this is my blog called Living with CMT. I hope you enjoy. Hello folks, it is the 4th of April and I am about to do an unboxing for April's uh, Z-Box. So sit back and enjoy because I'm opening this at the same time. You will see it as I see it. Let's go. Oh, he's turning it away from me. Get rid of the packaging. Right, the first item is a very, very, very nice Marvel t shirt with Thor on it, as you can see. It's uh, wonderful quality, again, as usual with Z Box. It's fantastic quality. It's got a great design on it. It's nice and large. It's, it really is good material. The one thing I like about these is I've washed mine over and over and over again, and they don't shrink at all. They do not shrink. There's no shrinkage in them. Second item, I can find it. Oh, Funko Pop Valkyrie from Thor Ragnarok. Don't know if you can see that. It's number 244, and there are. One, two, three, six in the series, and they are Heimdall, Valkyrie, Hela, Loki, Hulk, and Thor. And that one is number 244, as you can see. So that's Thor, Ragnarok, Valkyrie. Well, you know me, I'm mad on the Funko Pop, so that's fantastic for me. Item number three. Oh, another one. Hey, from the same set. This one's Hella. Hella. And this one is, again, Thor Ragnarok. And it's uh, number 243. And I actually completely apologise because I've just made myself look a complete wally. Because with it saying Z box on it, right? Like that. Z box. I thought it was this month's Z box, and it isn't. It isn't. It's actually something completely different, which I said I ordered, if you remember, about two weeks ago. Well, three weeks ago, actually. And it's the t shirt and two Funko Pops for £15. So that t shirt you've just seen and them two Funko Pops were only £15. So I think that's pretty good going. Even though I made myself look a pillock, I still. Uh, I still think I did all right out there. That'll show me in again, actually. They're that good. Valkyrie and Hella. Can you see them? Both out of Thor Ragnarok. Oops, let me just turn the other one. There, look. How cool are they? Oops, hold them down, hold them up, whatever. There you go. That's better. Eh? That's a better view. So there you go. Not bad, eh? So I am still awaiting um, April Z box. Can't believe I did that. Oh well. You live and learn. It's been one of them days. Good evening, folks. As you can tell from that previous video, I am a Wally. But I, I can't believe, actually, I saw it. With you saying Z-Box on, I just assumed it was this month's Z-Box. So I got that one wrong, anyway. You live and learn, don't you? Today's weather has been quite horrible, to be perfectly honest with you. I got up this morning, and it was horrible. And it's been freezing cold all day. My fingers are literally like claws. I cannot grip anything with them at all at the moment. It's been one of them days, to be honest. Um, I've spent a while doing surveys um, and uh, a pop-up forum, which I got invited to from one of my survey companies. I haven't done nothing else today at all. It's been quite quiet. Like I said, the weather's horrible. I mean, it's throwing it down with rain at the moment. We're supposed to be taking my mum for a meal tomorrow. We're hoping it picks up a bit for the weather-wise. Uh, I've still got quite a body earache. Um, Deb's still using the old uh, olive oil drops and then uh, cotton bud things, cotton balls, whatever. I'm not really eating much, I must admit. I don't know whether it's uh, my thyroid or what, but something's off because I'm not eating much. I don't feel like eating. I'm not hungry. All I've had today is a few little mini sausage rolls and a cup of coffee and a cup of tea, I think. I think that's about it, really. I haven't had much eat today at all because I haven't felt hungry. I've got to force myself to have a bowl of cereal in a bit because I know I need my iron and I'm not getting any iron at the moment. I don't know whether people's uh, CMT is good or bad just lately or what. I don't know. Mine is not so good. Like I say, it's um, very painful and it's very restricting. 
and I was hoping that the weather was going to pick up this weekend, that we were going to have some lovely warm weather so that I could get out and about, and that's not going to happen, really. <clears throat> we're on Thursday, and it's peeing it down with rain. So, yeah, I'm not happy about it. Uh, like I said, other than that, not done a lot. Last night, I played a little bit more of me Lego game, which is demented. Absolutely mental and fun, fun to play. I haven't watched any television for a few days, but I am actually going to watch a film in a minute. I'm going to take this upstairs, upload my video, and I'm going to watch a movie off Netflix. So I'll have a movie to rate for you tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I'm hoping tomorrow we're going to go downtown because we need to do uh, some shopping and we also are taking my mum for a meal. Now, one of the forums I'm doing at the moment is on. I've just been asked what I think uh, my definition of a fair society is. I thought, well, that's a bit of a, that's a, bit of a tough one, that. Uh, my idea of a fair society, mine personally, is one where the gap between the rich and the poor is shortened. So that those that do need don't need to beg all the time. They don't need to ask the rich if they can possibly, you know, lower, uh, lower themselves to uh, help us out. Even though the funny thing is, <laughs> this is what cracks me up about charity campaigns, particularly overseas ones. They don't think nothing of asking us for money. Yet we in this country have to beg and absolutely plead with our own government to give us money. So I don't understand that. I mean, I at the moment am applying to get my uh, high rate of mobility back because they took it off me. So I've got to go through all the rigmarole of filling all the forms out again, which I've done and I sent off on the 19th of February. So look how long it's taking. I see seven weeks coming up and I haven't heard anything yet. I haven't even had a letter to say that they've received them, even though I know they have because I've been onto the website where I put the, because I sent them recorded delivery. Even though you can send them free, I sent them recorded delivery because I don't trust them. I really don't. I will be honest. I don't trust them. Uh, and they were signed for by somebody called Don't Laugh Dinky. D-I-N-K-Y is actually the signature, Dinky. So I think somebody's toying with me. <sighs> Sorry, that's just a joke. Um, yeah, so fairness in society, like I say, I think it would be. And also the other thing I think about fairness in society, how many of you are members of companies? And because you're a member of a company, you don't get as good offers or as good rates as people who are just coming into that company. You know, somebody's taking out a new subscription to Summit, they get tons and tons of freebies. Because you're a loyal subscriber and you've been with this company for donkeys, you get nothing. You just get it. Yeah, well, we know we've got you, so we don't need hook you no more. I don't think that's fair either, to be honest with you, because the best deals I'm sick of them being for new customers. You know, and it happens with nearly everything you buy. You know, I'm not signaling out any signal, single. I'm not singling out any particular company. I'm saying in society in general, that is what we tend to do. If we want to get somebody hooked on or something, we give them all the freebies in the world. Then once they're hooked, we just say, right, forget it now. We don't need you no more. You know, you're a customer now. We've got you. So why would we keep you enticed? Somebody once described it like marriage. I thought it was quite funny, actually. This was on the Internet. I read it a few weeks ago. And he said it's a bit like getting married. Once you get married and you've got the ring on your finger, you don't have to try no more. And I thought, well, what a pile of horse that is. What a pile of absolute garbage. Me and Deb have been together 19 years, 20 next year, and we've been married for five of them. And in them 19 years, you cannot stop, even in the 20 years, you cannot stop wanting to show your partner that you are happy with them and that you are making the effort to stay happy with them and that you want the relationship. Because if you do, they'll walk. As simple as that, mate. Don't matter whether you've been together 20 years, 25 years, or five years. If you do not treat your partner right, by rights, they have got every right to walk out the door, simple as mate. Whether it be a divorce, whether it be just walk out the door because they're not married. Now, if I started treating Deb and taking it for granted, then I, if, and she decided to walk on me, then it would be my own fault because of how I treated it. You know, I don't agree with all this, um, oh, once, you, once you're married, you don't have to try anymore because that's it. It's like, what's that all about? That's like saying I'm a writer because I've had a book published. I can stop now. I've done it. I don't need to carry on. Cobblers. I'm writing. Every, I'm writing every time I get a chance to, or every time I feel like writing, should I say? I mean, I put my first poem on yesterday for the obviously the April the fourth one, which was actually April the third, which is ever so weird because I worked it out yesterday. I was posting my poems on that old poetry site, and of course they got a poetry for the first, the second, and the third. But for some reason they were allowing me to post one yesterday for the fourth. Even though today's the fourth, so I don't know. 
I don't know whether they're behind in time or in front in time or what. I don't know what they are, but something went wrong. So, yeah, that's what I'll be doing in a minute. I'll be reading out my second poem. Uh, my first one, obviously, yesterday, and I'm reading one out every day for the end of the month. I've actually written nearly 400 poems, so don't be prepared. Don't be um, expecting them to dry up soon because they won't be. <laughs> Poetry and writing is, you know, what I'm about. So, have you noticed, by the way, clean shave completely? Hey, look at that. Oh, blimey. It does make me look younger, actually. I will say that. And it like, makes me look a bit more alive as well, I think. Uh, thumbs out. Uh, sorry, thumbs out. But thumbs up to Steve Cook, my mate, um, because he will be Ralph fascinated with that video I've just done before this. Uh, he loves all my unboxings. I've got two more this month, actually. I've got my Geek Box and I've got my Z Box for this month because that was neither. Like I said, I made myself look a bit of an idiot. Anyway, I'm going to stop there and I'm now going to read out my second day's poem. Uh, this is a poem that's quite poignant, actually. It's quite um, apt because last year this was sort of my watchword, if you like. I uh, needed this last year and I hope everybody enjoys it. It's called A Shared Dream. <clears throat> when the door reaches out like an abusive hand and the world doesn't seem such a friendly place, call my name, hear my voice and I'll be there. When you need someone to hold on to in a world that is crumbling at your feet, I'll be the one that thinks like you do and I will share your dreams. As you walk down the street, seeing despair growing from the path and reaching high and wide, in the eyes of those that beg for money are tears that you hoped you'd never see, and your heart will think this world a bad place. Open your eyes from the nightmare and share your dreams with me. It's a world where hope washes away like tears in the rain, it will dissolve, and grief is the word on all the lips that try to speak. Where has the world that you once knew gone? Are you there to face it on your own? Don't ever fear that your world is over. Share your dreams with me. You want to see a world where people still cry, but the only tears are ones of joy, not pain. Where wars are not fought and lives not taken. Where nations smile at each other without hiding from the prejudice. It's not too much a thing to want. I want it too. Share your dreams with me. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and a like. Thank you very much. And if you like what you saw, you can subscribe by clicking there. And if you want to see what I did yesterday, you've just got to click up there. Bye for now.